From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. The City of Angels showing it can be loud and raucous. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad emerged from the tunnel. They're ready for football and ready to watch their Rams do battle with the San Francisco 49ers. Garoppolo now, first down throw. And incomplete to open things up. The intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin. And now it's second down. Here we go. An incomplete hey. pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Hey, check, check. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. Kittle last year, what a season. 1,377 receiving yards, an NFL record for tight ends en route to his first Pro Bowl. Not bad for the former fifth-round pick. As you know, I remember that game December against Denver. He had that monster first half, 210 yards. Did not have a single catch in the second half, but still those 210 yards were just four yards shy of Shannon Sharp's single game record for a tight end. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. A big kick that time. 52 yards. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and ten. The Rams here set to get the football back on offense. This is a crew at three and two that got off to a hot start with those three straight wins to begin the season. Then came the week four debacle against Tampa Bay. They get the short week, have to travel up the coast to Seattle on a Thursday night in week five, and it came down to a 44-yard field goal, which would seem to be money in the bank for Greg Zerline, but he pushed it wide right, and the Rams now sit at three and two. They have some extra time to think about it before they regroup for another big one back home against the 49ers week six. Well, it certainly appears that in this game, someone has decided they're going to open up their playbook. First quarter, and we see that play. I like their style. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Out of the gun. Gone. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Goff on first down. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. The linebacker Fred Warner right there on the coverage. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Come on, QB, come on. Hey, to throw is gone. And that's complete to Cooks. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. The four-time All-Pro Johnny Hecker is on to punt for L.A. Waiting on it will be Richie James. Play. 49ers offense retaking the field, and there are two undefeated teams left in the NFL. The Patriots at 5-0, and then the San Francisco 49ers at 4-0 coming off that Monday night win 
against Cleveland in week five. Remember, they had their open week, week four. Next up, two on the road. They'll stay on the West Coast to face the Rams down in L.A., and then they'll head east three time zones to take on the Redskins of Washington. Now a man who really stepped up last year. This is Matt Breda, and he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. A first carry for the former Falcon, Tevin Coleman. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breda. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now Natson. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 23. Now the third leading rusher in the NFL last year, Todd Gurley. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. Of course, with Gurley, the Rams, they have been content to monitor that workload in the early part of the season, mostly keeping him around the 14 to 16 carry mark. A far cry from last year when he had games of, gosh, he had 28 carries in one game, 25 in another, 23 in another. But it's been a different story for Todd Gurley in 2019. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Goff going to hand it to Gurley. Tackle that time by Jarquiski Tart. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Third and two, gone. This is caught, it's Cooks. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that call. Third and two, just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands, and yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. Now Goff on first down. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. A good pick up there, 26 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Connection made here. Goff to Higby. A gain of six there on first. 
Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Again, golf. And that one's complete to Gurley. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Sometimes the most effective routes are the ones that you run in the backyard. You probably ran them when you were five years old. How about a little curl there against zone? But the key to it is finding the open spots in the zone. How a linebacker or a defensive back will widen to give you space. Find that area and let your quarterback hit you. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action, maybe throwing it. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Step, and he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Jared Goff. A three-yard run as he kept it himself. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And maybe there that was just a case of completely overlooking the guy holding the football. It certainly felt like it, didn't it? Because on my checklist, okay, as a defender. <laughs> QB's last. Running back, fullback, heck, jet sweeps nowadays. Before you even get to thinking about the quarterback might actually keep it. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone go, talks go, about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. Second down, a run with Breida. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. To throw, it's Garoppolo. That's complete to a speedy wideout, Goodwin. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard stripe. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go and make the tackle right away. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. 
And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. So they wound up passing on a long field goal try, but that works out for them really well. That one's downed inside the five-yard line. And it's risky because your punter, if he puts it in the end zone, the net result not worth it, but they're, I think, worth it. Here we go. Play 20. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. Watch the screen. Watch the turn. Watch the They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And this is going to double their room to maneuver, able to get it from the five to the ten-yard line. So many questions about Todd Gurley in the offseason. How good is the knee? I mean, remember, he had a heavy workload the last couple years, nearly 4,000 yards from scrimmage, 40 total touchdowns, but just four carries in the NFC Championship game, 10 in the Super Bowl. So we'll see what kind of usage he gets this season. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day from the 24 golf and woods has it complete and he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there seven yards there and a first down From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Good work. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Los Angeles. It is the Rams in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. Check, check. Walk 54. Walk 54. All dead. All dead. On first down, it's Gurley. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Here's gone. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. The lane opens up that time as he'll be brought down just short of a first after a gain of about nine. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Line 20. Line 54. Line 54. On first down, gone toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. That'll bring up second down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted 
but it winds up falling incomplete. He was looking to go back to Cooks one more time, and it's third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden, it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Open man, Higby, the tight end. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. Now it's Zerline to try the Ram field goal. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. Zerline, of course, last year had likely the iconic field goal of the season, booting that 57-yarder in the Superdome to send his squad to the Super Bowl. Yeah, you really hurt the Saints fans on that one, didn't you? Sorry. They didn't want to hear that at all. But this guy deserves his nicknames, Greg the Leg, Legatron, because the ball goes through the post at a heavy rate, 87% in 2018. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. But it certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. Here we go. From the 27, Garoppolo. It's caught by Coleman. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Open man is Pettis. It's complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. But Pettis is quickly becoming the number one receiving option for Jimmy Garoppolo. In the last year, John Lynch said that they loved the way he closed the season. Really came on late. Remember, this is a guy that they traded up to get at number 44 back in 2018 out of the University of Washington. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Garoppolo gives to Breda. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A gain of 13. It's a first down. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". They'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. Okay, when the big guy runs a corner route, you're asking a lot, no matter who's covering him, doesn't matter whether it's a linebacker or a defensive back, yeah. he usually has the advantage because of his body type. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On first down, here's Breda. 
Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Second down, it's Coleman. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. 49ers with their first trip to the red zone thus far. It's first and 10 from the 12. Here's Burita. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. The perennial pro bowler, Aaron Donald, gets the sack. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. An old man is a very, very fickle man. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Now Garoppolo. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Last year's NFL leader in field goal percentage, Robbie Gold, on for the Niners field goal. This from 36 yards out. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. CD, you know there were quite a few Bears fans back in January saying, why didn't we hold on to that Robbie Gold guy? Well, it's a legitimate question. 33 of 34 for San Francisco in 2018. The crazy stat of the year, he missed more extra points, two, than he did field goals, one, in the 2018 season. This game back with it a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. This is fielded at the goal line. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And the Rams getting set to go now. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. But we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. From the 36, Goff. He gets it to Cooks. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Goff now, 10 of 16, throwing the football. It's first and 10. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. And the tackle there by Quan Alexander. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. 
A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Getting the sack, the 227-pound linebacker, Quan Alexander. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability. And he's going to go down again. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better so they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points yeah, maybe wore down the other defense we'll see Garoppolo hustling him back to the line now we gotta get this stuff. throwing again on second down Garoppolo that's complete to his receiver Pettis and from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Here we go. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. He finds Coleman. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Here we go, Garoppolo here we go. now, 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. Man open, it's Goodwood. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here we go. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? takes real coordination go, between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football. Oh, and this ball is tipped and intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. 19 seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. So we come upon halftime here in Southern California with the Rams on top as we send you cross country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now out. 
out on the field. Here comes Los Angeles. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Throwing on third. Gone. And that's complete to Cooks. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because here some go, teams go, script go. to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. What we got? What we got? What we got? Garoppolo after the fake give to Brita. He hits his target. It's the tight end, Toilolo. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. James has got it, complete. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass it with a running play. Let's go. Let's go. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage, but it's not just the low go, man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force, and they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. They run with Breda. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. 
partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. On second down, it's Coleman. He'll get three up to midfield. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. Over the middle, he finds Pettis complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 40. Well, we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it. There you go. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Go, so go, second go. down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> to throw, it's Garoppolo. This one complete to Coleman. Give him three on the play, and just like that, it's third down. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Garoppolo again. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 22-yard line. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, Mike, make go, plays go. after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Here we go, the here delay we go, here of go. game backs him up five, first and 15. Watch the screen. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. That's complete to his speedy wideout, Goodwin. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Throw again on second down. Garoppolo. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one. And it's third down. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points. But the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it. Could not hold on through the end of the play. Here we go, here we go. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw is Garoppolo. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. The kick by Gold is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvage three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, <laughs> right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory.
The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Now that was well defended. And as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. They run. It's Gurley. Nine good yards there on the run, and now third down. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Goff now looks to throw. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the draw. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Here we go. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Got his man complete over the middle. It's James. Pass the 20. Touchdown, 49ers. Richie James, an 80-yard touchdown. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Partner, you know what the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big-time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. Gold with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 24. 
They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. He takes this for three to the 29. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Goff. He's going to dump it off to Gurley. And Gurley here fumbled it. Gurley fumbles the football. It's loose. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Jared Goff, four times last year, he led the Rams on a fourth quarter comeback. He obviously didn't do it in Super Bowl 53, but can he do it here? He's going to float this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Todd Gurley, and that'll bring up second down. They were trying to erase that deficit in one play. They certainly were, but how about the reaction time and the instincts back deep to force the incompletion? We might need to mark this one down. We may look back and say, that was a game-saving play. Back to the air. Goff on second down. Open man, Higby, the tight end. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Call. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Well contained there defensively. The screen gets only a yard, and it's fourth. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. Right, he loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Corey Littleton, pro bowler for the first time a season ago, in to make the tackle. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try and move forward. Boy, tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high, the tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. Here we go. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Let's go. 
And some room to run now. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A well-executed 22-yard gain. First down, 49ers. Back-to-back good plays have him on the move on first down. I'm scared. Running out of the gun here, Brita. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Working from the gun, Garoppolo going up top. This is caught inside the 15. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down, got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now, they've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. This is Breda. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They're in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this job. They need points. Big time. Back to throw. Gone. And his throw here is incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby. But it's going to be second down. Well, throws like that, especially where we sit in the fourth quarter, he's got to be careful. Yeah, and you know one of my faults is that I often view this game through a defensive back's eyes. And in this situation, your team's losing. It's late. 
tighter coverage, take a chance and go and try and step in front of one of those and make a big play. So if you're the quarterback, that should be in your head. This is their time to take a gamble. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Goff now to throw. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Credit the sack to the Oregon Duck to Forrest Buckner. They were trying to set up that screen, trying to get that screen to formulate. Took too long. Ends up taking a sack, and that leads you to a couple of other questions. Number one, why don't you just get rid of the football near the screen, guys, so that you don't take an interception. But really, the big one, they just took everything away, and he was really kind of flummoxed on that play and ended up taking the sack. On the return, it's James. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Garoppolo. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? To throw again on second down. Garoppolo. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. No, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Well, the mental focus. Yeah, the that's true. got to stay with it. That's true. Here comes the 49ers punter now. He's been terrific so far. Here's Natson. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give him nine, though, on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Here's gone. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Now Goff. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. And a loss of three to bring up four. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. I got you. I got you. Hey, watch that. Watch that. The Rams going for it on four. Gone. Airing it out deep for Woods. 
And that is incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, here, we go, here we go. they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. 13 yards this. there and a Niner first. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. Man open, it's Goodwin. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skills showing the power, but just not much room to operate. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Clay Matthews brings the heat and gets the sack. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This one from 35 yards away. And Gold is able to put it through. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. You think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. He's not going to get me. Golf. They'll get this one to cop complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Now, after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. 
A shotgun snap for goal. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. In this situation, the dictation is coming from the defense, right? They're going to tell you. You can have six, seven yards, do that all the way downfield. Let's just go ahead and take the time off the clock. I think they've got to start attacking vertically a lot more. On fourth down, gone. Man open, it's cop. He's got it. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I looked down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Let's go, Let's go. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Again, golf. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. So Goff and the Rams down by 13, a minute 54 on the clock. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. To the air again. Golf. He gets it to Gurley. Complete. It'll be a gain of four. And it'll make it second down. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. Looking to throw again on second down. Golf. Now a desperation throw deep. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Zerline connects on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So they got one of the two touchdowns they needed. Now for the onside kick. And the 49er hands team does its job. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not here lost. Go, here we go, here we go. Now it's Breda. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They run again with Breida. And he'll go down at the 28. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down.
Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. Here we go. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Down to a knee goes Garoppolo, and that ought to do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Los Angeles, so long, everybody.